Hi, today we're going to be talking about ear infections in dogs. What's an ear infection? What signs do you see? And what causes ear infections? Okay, what's an ear infection? So, as the name suggests, it's an infection of something. Okay, and it is quite common. It's one of the more common reasons why uh, you may bring your pet to your the dog to your vet to say that look, I think there's an ear infection going on. It's not very um, nice and it's not very comfortable. It's usually quite sore, and we tend to see three different things. So they're either scratching, or they're rubbing, or they're shaking the head. And uh, usually it is on the outer ear. It's called um, the external ear or otitis externa infection. Okay, see the ear is actually quite sore. There's a lot of redness around it, and sometimes you can smell really, really bad. And sometimes you can also see pus coming out. You can see discharge coming out, either yellow or black or you know thick or thin. Uh, sometimes you can get hit to. Okay, and there's pain in the area. It's because the ears are also in charge of balance, okay? So if there is an issue with the balancing, they get a hit tilt. Or just simply because it's sore, just like us, uh, you know, holding our elbow is painful. We just tilt a little bit more towards uh, the bit that is more painful. Um, other sort of uh, signs would be um, things like uh, some, th this may cause your dog to go off color. So you have behavior changes, mood changes. The dog may become more sleepy or want to sleep more than usual or actually become more aggressive and grumpy because I'm in pain, just like us. You're in pain, you know, you'll be grumpy as well. And uh, very, very occasionally when you get a continuous signs to that or continuous uh, ear problems that is not being resolved and the dog shakes the head really hard, you may get what we call a hematoma, a sort of swollen ear in the pinna. The pinna is a flappy bit of the ear, and that is where the blood vessels may just burst inside that, uh, and they'll be elaborated a little bit more further on. But what causes ear infections? Why do dogs get it? Okay, so usually infections is caused by a few different things. It's either bacteria, yeast, and very, very uncommonly, ear mites as well. Okay, uh, the reason why I say ear mites is quite uncommon is usually because uh, if uh, most sort of uh, act parasites or a flea treatment, uh, they do do ear mites as well. Not all of them, some of them do, so we hardly see that these days. Uh, but nonetheless, those are three common things, okay? So bacteria, yeast, and ear mites, they can cause an infection, okay? Um, what you must understand is that this bacteria and yeast, they exist, they live normally in your dog in general, anyway. Usually the immune system holds everything at bay, so that they don't cause a problem. So they're still there, but they're not causing a problem. We all live together. When the immune system drops for whatever reason, that is where the yeast or the bacteria and all the bacteria are allowed to proliferate, they're allowed to replicate, allowed to produce even more, reproduce more, and causes a problem. That's usually the problem, okay? Uh, sometimes you also get foreign body stuck inside the ear, like, a grass seed or a stone or you know anything that can track inside the ear and it can cause the irritation and potentially also cause an infection then secondary uh, after that following the foreign body uh, then you get all your other issues of bacteria and yeast causing a problem over there so that is what sometimes your vets may look for as well a little foreign body okay um, apart from that what other things can cause an infection to be more um, prevalent, to be more common, would be underlying skin diseases, okay? If you have got an underlying allergy, or rather your dog has got an underlying allergy that affects the skin, don't forget the ear is part of the skin as well. It's just specialized skin, the skin that goes all the way inside. But if there's an underlying reason why the skin should have a low immune system, you get itchy for whatever reason, uh, it could be an allergy or something like that, then that may make your dog to be more prone to get ear issues. I hope this has been helpful. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how your vet would help you out and what are the treatment options and actually how to prevent it in the first place, if possible. Uh, till then, I'll see you in the next live event. This is Amity.